all right so with today's video you guys have read the title you guys have seen the thumbnail but we're going to be revisiting reviving and going to old Genshin characters and seeing how they can perform in today's meta. So today we're going to be focusing on Noel, but this is going to be a new series on my channel. I am going to be going through every single old character. That means four stars and even five stars too, whether that's a standard banner five stars or just old five stars from back in the day. We are going to be showcasing characters in the light that they should be showcased in. But today, as I mentioned, today we'll be focused on Noel. So hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe and press those post notifications so you guys are always notified when I do upload. Without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, as I mentioned in this video already, today will be centralized and focused purely on Noel. I know a lot of you guys probably have a Noel and don't have her built, but I do also know quite a bit of people who have a Noel built. Today, we are going to be showcasing her and we're going to be using her in the highest tier of content, as I mentioned, Spiral Abyss and a bunch of other weaker bosses or whatever. So I brought her to level 80. I am going to try her on multiple different builds, multiple different artifact sets, but actually, I think I'm only going to be focusing on one artifact set. Right now, I have her on four gladiators, probably her second best in slot, mainly just because I have good gladiators without damage my other um, characters. So I have two full four piece house sets that are on Albedo and Ito and maybe I'll use my Ito set and put it on my um, Noel today just because I'm not using Ito today and I can just swap artifacts around. Uh, I have her C6 and she is on triple six talents or 699 with C6. So I'm not gonna probably take them up I think level 6 talents are always just the base standard, base minimum level talents. And I think that will be good enough to showcase what her damage really looks like. I'm going to be using her on a level 80 Stone Thresher because that's her best in slot. Uh, I will also be trying her on the free to play white blind which i also have leveled up to 80 and those are the only two weapons i'm going to be showing off i'm not going to show off the serpent spine i feel like there's not much of a reason just because i do have it r5 and i don't think a lot of people will have it r5 so we're only going to be focusing on the whale weapon and the free to play weapon both at r1 to showcase what they can do as i mentioned level 80 overall stats right now is a 76 or 79 over 206 zero recharge is bad i would probably advice if you're building the well and plan to and for future people who want to build Noel, well i would say at least 120 to 130 recharge but this is, is my gladiator set gladiators is probably going to be my universal set for her just because again as i mentioned i don't want to swap around artifacts but in this video i will also showcase what her damage looks like with four husk and that will be later in the video my glider pieces look like this i would say they're relatively very high quality well over 30 to 40 cv and and that's basically it when it comes down to my gear on gladiators but just to also show off what my artifacts will look like on four piece husk which is probably what's going to be used in this video i probably am not going to show four gladiators but just do keep in mind that four gliders versus four husk is not that much of an increase. So whether you're running four husk or four gliders, the damage is not going to be that significant. So if you have a really good four gliders and you want to upgrade to four husk, just keep in mind not everyone's going to have that much resin, right? Because resin is limited. So I would say if you already have a really good four piece gliders. For Noel specifically, you don't need to farm for Husk. If you're farming for Albedo or Ito, yeah, of course, farm for Husk because they're not going to have really another set other than for Husk that really is so impactful for them. But for Noel specifically, she does have two, actually three also good artifacts that she also has Retracing Bolide. So if you, whether you have Retracing Bolide, the Four Gliders, or Four Piece Husk, all those sets are very much viable. They all work. Now that we're done with all of this whole like kit and everything stuff let's go ahead and dive into the actual portion that i want to get into all right let's see what oh plus 20 recharge all right so let's let's see what this damage looks like all right so don't get me wrong this is quite an expensive team very heavily buffed but we are gonna do this anyways okay 20 the 25k autos now with the shield is still hitting relatively hard they, I really love that elemental skull proc. That elemental skull proc is so satisfying. 
but not looking at albedo's numbers because albedo is obviously contributing quite a significant amount of damage this is really good this is solid 30k autos i, hit, I saw 30 in there you know what that's not bad this i could see actually being pretty viable in specific fours so if you guys actually remember back in the uh i think it was the last uh 412 we had the uh the dogs right who that have corrosion and as much as i think ito is overall stronger than noel and a lot less resin heavy i guess if that makes sense i would say noel was a better option if you had her built because she could heal right so when you drop her when you drop her uh skill and you have her shield up while you're autoing and you know doing your rotations or whatever she can heal her auto so i really like that and also this damage is not terrible now my albedo is hitting harder and doing probably more damage off field than you know what noel is contributing but looking purely at noel's numbers it is not bad and and albedo is obviously very obviously heavily buffed by um Goro as well so overall i'm pretty happy with it all right four oh 20 more research again okay um what is this for again oh brother okay if you guys have done some this for her you guys know how annoying this this for is so i actually think the well can kind of wash this or because of the massive amount of defensive utility this team does have right so when i did this for i would say it's almost undoable if you do not have a shield character or a healer or strong healer at least so noel being obviously a defensive dps option i could see this floor being pretty okay with her and she went pretty hard on the first floor so let's see so i also want to say this four does not favor free to plays <laughs> this four is not favored for free to play players but i would say it's still relatively good right also no well please stay alive no well please stay alive no well please stay alive i need to look for this video please there we go also this actually kind of showcases that she heals pretty significantly right like right just like that even uh, additionally with girls obviously c4 this uh healing is strong enough to obviously keep her alive got that got that got that ow and then rotation start again 30k autos okay i liked it it's pretty good let's see what this looks like so this boss is it's gonna be pretty easy to kill because it is a open world boss but let's see Wait, two on the initial hit 33 on the last hit of the auto attack string 30 better buff is now off and we're hitting okay solid that is solid we one phase it okay okay i'm going to i am going to kill these guys though but i'm not gonna actually kill the boss because I want to use this boss as my test dummy, so... I am noticing an energy problem though, so... Mmm, I didn't like it that much. 36 on the initial hit, 25, 24, 27. The last hit is 30. Okay. That's, that's real... Fuck. Alright, it's back. So, before we fight, I just want to say also that we switched from the red one to now the free uh, weapon option, the weapon. So this is gonna be our R1 testing. This can obviously be R5, I don't have this R5, but if you guys have to claim more prototypes and you plan to build both Ito and Noel, the white one is a good option, so go ahead and refine that. But do keep in mind that this weapon literally only works on basically two to three characters. It's not as universal as other craftable weapons, so just keep that in mind, but it is still a good weapon. 
And I think it's honestly one of the better Claymore weapons that you can craft. I think it's better than both Inazuma's and Sumeru's. Just when, it's, when you think about the specific weapon archetype that this is for, for a Noel, Ito, or defense scaling character, this is a pretty damn good weapon. So let's go ahead and see what this weapon is made of. My burst isn't up, but it's okay because Goro does provide a lot of energy. And we also switch from Bennett to Zhang Li just because of energy. So. Okay, 20k on the initial hit, and now 13 to 21k auto. So, yeah. So, as you can see, it's about a 10k difference when it comes down to the last hit. And it is a significant damaging decrease, right? But do keep in mind. But this is also a craftable weapon. Yes, it is a pretty significant drop. I'm not using Bennett here, but uh, Bennett wouldn't honestly change, I don't think, that much. But we can try afterwards with, with and without Bennett. I uh, bet it is with a crown burst. I did like, I think universally, if you're looking at it from Abyss, I would probably put Zhongli actually more because Zhongli does provide significantly more energy particles than Bennett would on a Geo team. And also, Bennett does struggle on getting energy particles for himself on this team, mainly because there's no other batteries for him, right? Even with the massive amount of, you know, recharge my Bennett does have, which is almost like 220 or something, he still struggles with energy. But let's see, let's start it up. Drop that, drop that, and there's a hit. 23, 16, high end, and then 25 on the last hit. Okay. See, so with the Bennett buff, See, we're, we are still hitting relatively, really good numbers, right? And I still find that elemental skill hit so satisfying to hit, right? All right, so with that being said, the weapons are done. So those are the only two weapons I plan on showing off. But there are multiple different weapon options that you guys can use. Of course, we didn't show it off today, but Serpent's Fan R5 is a fantastic option. I'm not showcasing this because I don't actually have a crit damage circlet. So I would just be so overcapped on crit rate with the Serpent's Fan. So it wouldn't even be a really fair comparison or a fair showcase. But Serpent's Fan with or without refinements is a fantastic option. There is, of course, the Unforged that works very well with Noel because of, the, of course, the shield instantly allowing Noel to use use the max capabilities of unforged there's of course the very universal wolf's gravestone very classic weapon and i know a lot of people actually use favonius i don't think you are gonna need favonius if you're running triple geo or four geo and you have at least 130 to 140 recharge i was struggling with energy energy because my recharge is still actually pretty low and keep in mind that i would actually recommend you guys to drop a lot more crit stats for recharge or defense all right y'all that is going to wrap it up for today's video the first of many in this long series that i have planned noel is the first of the quote dead characters that i want to revive and show some light on so i hope you guys enjoyed this one please make sure to like share and subscribe press those post notifications so you guys are always notified when i do upload thank you so much for stopping by and i'll catch y'all next time take care